Safe Places is a scheme by Your Voice Counts to establish safe places for people with learning disabilities if they run into problems when they're outside. The Safe Places scheme began in Cornwall in 2003 and has proven to be a great success. Your Voice Counts wants us to introduce this scheme in South Tyneside. So how does it work? Local shops, businesses and agencies display a brightly coloured sticker to identify that they are part of the scheme and can offer help to someone who may be in distress. I'm Tom Rell from South Tyneside Libraries, um, one of the community librarians. We were originally approached by Your Voice Counts and Equal People to, to be part of the, the Safe Places scheme. When they did their initial consultation, they were, they, the people involved were very keen that libraries were a safe place that they could come to, a, a trusted place in the community, and we were very keen to, to be able to in, include ourselves in this service. We've got eight libraries throughout the communities of South Tyneside and the staff are all going to be trained to understand the problems that people with learning disabilities might have and if, if, so they can come into a safe and trusted place. What do you think a safe place is? It should have, a place should have a sticker or a poster in the window. It's all right, just stick it in the window. A safe place should have a tray, uh, friendly and trained staff, more than one, so they can give the support you need. It should have a quiet place, so you can talk privately. You should have access to a phone. In case you need to ring your family. Or your carer. Support worker or the police. Or a taxi. It's got to have a phone. It's got to have trained staff. It's got to be a quiet place. And it's got to have a sticker in the window. If it's got all these things, then that's a safe place. My name's Vera Baird. I'm the Police and Crime Commissioner for Northumbria. That includes South Tyneside, where we are now. And my job is to get the police to do what the public want them to do. The Safe Places scheme uh, is for anybody who feels uh, upset or frightened or is lost um, to go to and be safe. So this is a nice big clear picture, wherever you see that, if you feel you want any kind of help at all, go in there and you'll be treated nicely. Safe places for people who need help and uh, when, they're not, when they're not well or they're first taken or every, um, different places to go when they need help and to look, be looked after and cared for. Betty's have done training on safe places with Brunswick Methodist Church, St Mary's Catholic Cathedral and the, um, the City Library. If you find yourself in trouble, it might be a safe place. Imagine if you were out and you think you're being followed, what would you do? One of the things you can do is look for a building with a stick in the window and go in as a safe place. Go inside and ask a member of staff for help. Excuse me? I'll help you. I think someone will say follow me. We just sit down and we'll have a chat. I've checked outside and he's gone. Do you want us to phone the police? <laughs> no, give us a taxi to be to go home and see him. Yes, of course. Another problem you might have when you outside you might lose your purse. Or your wallet. What would you do if you lost the your purse or your wallet?
Oh, I lost my bag. Where is it? When you lose your wallet or your bus pass or your purse, or if you fall over, you could go to that safe place and then we'll look after you. That makes sense. Certainly it does make sense. Said P. Hiya. Hello. I'm lost over here. I need some help. No problem. Do you want to come through? Yeah. Just come through here. Hi. It's Alison from Redesign here. I've got Cheryl here. Um, she's lost her bag. Would you be able to come and get her and um, collect her for me, please? Hi Cheryl, I've sorted it out for you. Someone's coming round to pick you up now, okay? Is that alright? Thanks. Yeah, here she is. Hello, Cheryl. Hello. Are you alright? You lost your bag? Yeah. You alright? You'll find it, man. You imagine if you went outside and you discovered you got yourself lost. Lost? You don't know where you are and you don't know where to go. I'm lost. What do you think you should do? Go for help. Go to see safe place. Look for the stick in the window. It could be the library workshop. Or it could be a church. The bar. Customer service desks in shopping centres. Anywhere it's got a stick on the window. Are you sick? No. Are you lost? I'm lost. You're lost? Yeah. Would you like me to ring somebody for you? That one. Okay, the care of support worker. The support worker. Do you have a contact number? Yes, I have a contact number. This Safe Places scheme is obviously going to be very important for a lot of people and it will only work if these pictures are put round far and wide. Will you have one in your premises? If you will, get in touch with Your Voice Counts in South Tyneside and they'll give you the training that goes with the picture as well. South Tyneside Libraries are very keen to be part of this scheme and we're going to be part of this, the launch and we'd also encourage other organisations, shops, businesses to be part of this to help make South Tyneside a safer place. My name is Darren Ramshaw, I'm Business Manager for Safeguarding Adults in South Tyneside and I represent South Tyneside Safeguarding Adults Board. On behalf of South Tyneside Safeguarding Adults Board we would absolutely endorse safe places as something that can help prevent abuse of the most vulnerable people in our society and help to keep people safe. I'm Margaret Adams and I'm the Chairperson of HealthNet. We all heartedly endorse this project and this initiative because we feel very strongly that it's really important that people have safe places to go within the town where they can feel comfortable and people within the town actually understanding what it is to be a safe place. Uh, my name is Graham Wood and I'm a Community Safety Officer for South Tyneside Council. I think safe places are such a good idea because I think you should judge a community or the quality of a community about how it looks after its most vulnerable residents. So to have somewhere where people can go freely to feel more safe and secure and to get some help and support is clearly a good idea. Uh, so I would uh, uh, wholeheartedly endorse uh, the Safe Places initiative. I'm Bill Norman, I'm Strategic Partnership Coordinator for Newcastle City Council and I'm here today representing Newcastle Learning Disability Partnership. We've been working to establish safe places in Newcastle for about the last year and we only have about three or four at the moment but we're finding them incredibly useful not just because they're being used but also because people 
feel safer just because they're there. So we wholeheartedly endorse this and we're looking forward to working with you in South Tyneside in partnership to develop more between us. What will we do for you if you agree to be a safe place? We will include your company on the South Tyneside Council website. We will give your staff ongoing training and support including how to report a hate crime. We will promote your company as an example of good practice. For more information about the Safe Places scheme, contact Your Voice Counts, Father James Walsh Centre, Hedgley Road, Hebben, NE31 1HE.